gods, it's cold. Where's the damn Britain? Can't believe anyone lives here. Strange place. Of course, Jahan ended up in elsewhere. Papa would have scouted the whole hold by now. All I need is that stupid hammer. I'm wasting time. This was supposed to be an adventure. There's nothing here. Did Papa even know that Rob's a bandit now? Of course, that one person he befriended in Skyrim is a God's forsaken band. <gasps> Just like Papa always said, you can't go forward. Go sideways. <gasps> Look what we have here. Never should have come here. And when you can't go sideways... Circle back. This is Yasna, a red guard from Shady Grove and Hammerfell, who grew up with her three older brothers on their family farm. She has just escaped from Liar's Retreat, where she was to retrieve a unique hammer to bring back home. Her father had arranged for her to meet Rod, a Breton whom he had met years earlier while on a scouting mission, and who had been a bartender at the Nightgate Inn. Her father had also grown up on the farm and had moved to Sentinel to work as a scout in a militia. Her mother was from Sentinel, and her parents met when he was assigned to her as his commander. After the Great War and the five years of fighting the Dominion Army, the Second Treaty of Stress Mackay was finally signed, and they decided to leave the military and return to Shady Grove, where his parents still lived. Yasna was born soon after they arrived. The farm was near a small oasis where they kept goats and camels and cultivated dates and other desert fruits. Her parents were relieved to be living a quieter life, though also felt it crucial to teach their children how to be resilient and resourceful. Their mother trained them in combat, and their father taught them outdoor skills and scouting. He had always been a jokester and prankster, and he created puzzles and scavenger hunts for his children as hands-on lessons. When they became young adults, their father offered them a challenge to prove their capabilities to themselves in a different province, away from the comforts of home. The two youngest, Yasna and Jahan, who was a year older, chose to take on this adventure to retrieve a special weapon based on their combat style. Yasna is frustrated and somewhat overwhelmed by the newness of her situation in Skyrim. The loneliness, the cold, and then the terrifying encounter with these subterranean elf creatures. But she knows deep down that this is the mission, to find a solution to these obstacles. She seeks out the nearest inn to rest and plan her next approach, determined to find a way forward. Yasna ends up at the Frostfruit Inn in Rorikstead, and soon meets Eric, a young Nord who, like her, lives and works on his family farm and who also happens to use two-handed weapons. He immediately strikes her as a kind of younger brother, and he clearly looks up to her, incredibly curious to know how she ended up on such an adventure. 
as they practice sparring together. She tells him all about the different quests her father devised so that they would absorb and master a diverse skill set. She'd also willingly brawl with her brothers, losing often as the youngest and smallest, but made use of a large stick to swing at them as needed, and the hammer became her weapon of choice. She eventually developed an expert ability to set handcrafted traps and other creative inventions to ambush them. Eric is delighted to hear about her experiences, and his enthusiasm helps Yasna rekindle her own excitement about her mission. He shares that he too wants to travel and live a life of adventure. But unlike her, Eric feels stuck with a father who is discouraging of his ambitions. Yasna is confident that she can talk to his father and is able to convince him that there is nothing more important in life than taking on challenges to understand your limitations so that you can then transcend those limitations through skill building. Eric is exuberant and suggests heading back to Lyra's retreat immediately together. But Yasna is firm about the need for more training to meet the task and likewise urges Eric to pursue his own training. They decide to head to nearby Whiterun to join the companions and train seriously in combat. As they approach the city, they come across a couple of companions in a field battling a giant, and Yasna springs into action, amazing everyone with her agility and two-handed skill. More than impressed, the companions invite them to visit Yorvaskar, and Eric is beyond excited that she has already won them an introduction. While Yasna feels strangely indifferent, but keeps it to herself. They head to the inn in Whiterun for a meal, and when Eric overhears her asking the innkeeper about magic, she confesses that she's always wanted to learn. Yasna knew that her mother was quite the destruction mage as well as a warrior, but her parents had discouraged their children from learning magic, thinking that they'd rely too heavily on such a powerful ability. Eric insists that she must follow her impulse and train in magic at the College of Winterhold instead, hoping to help her pursue her dream as she did for him. Yasna immediately feels enlivened and knows Eric is right. They decide to meet back in Whiterun after their trainings, and before she departs, she gives Eric her hammer in order to be thrown into the unknown once again, which she considers the best way to learn. Outside of Whiterun, alone, she feels momentarily panicked about her predicament, but then impulsively steals a horse from a nearby bandit cave and rides straight to Winterhold. Feralda is the first person she meets at the college, and Yasna immediately gets along with her. Feralda mentors her in learning destruction magic, and as soon as Yasna tries runes, she gets hooked innately understanding the timing and employing her talent for setting all sorts of traps. She uses them for both long-range traps and short-range bombs, and her Shadowstone adds to her strategic toolbox. While undergoing the first trials in Sarthal, she forms a playful rivalry with Jazargo, also training in destruction magic, who reminds her of her brother Jahan. They constantly try to outdo each other as they work on mastering their mage skills, and Yasna thrills in being around someone who is just as competitive and ambitious as she is, to hold her accountable and push her to do more. Yasna helps Jazargo test out some risky new spells, and Jazargo helps Yasna practice flame, shock, and frost magic exhaustively to master every type of destruction rune. The dynamic they develop makes Yasna feel at home. Yasna invites Jazargo to accompany her to meet up with Eric and make a return to Lyra's retreat. And Jazargo loves the idea, keen to gain more experience. They reunite with Eric, who is now decked out in armor and a well-worn hammer and flushed with happiness about his time with a companion so far. Jazargo is happy to relegate Eric to the role of warrior and save his competitive streak for Yasna. When Jazargo sarcastically observes that the hammer she gave Eric is not even enchanted, Yasna dives into enchanting for days on end. The three of them finally embark on the trip to Lyra's retreat and take it by storm. This time, Yasna twirling through, leaving a trail of exploding runes, 
circling back invisibly and joining her friends to take down every last Falmer. She finds Rod in the last room, a victim of the Falmer invasion, but the Longhammer still beside him. She's overcome by the moment, elated to have finally succeeded in her mission, but fully aware of how close death can be, and also unsatisfied with the supposed end to this adventure. The three of them celebrate in Rorikstead, and Yasna gives Eric the long hammer. Eric reveals to Yasna that while she was away at the college, he had written to her parents to let them know that Yasna was studying magic and to convince them that this was her true calling. He had received a letter back from them, which he gives to Yasna to read. Her parents' response. Our dearest Yasna, you have more than proven your strength and resilience with or without the long hammer, and we couldn't be more proud of you. There is nothing we want more than for you to follow your passion. You are welcome to return home or continue seeking out new adventures as you wish. Know we love you. We know you do. Yasna looks up to the sky for a long while, tears flowing down her face then looks at her two friends. Jazargo breaks the silence by mentioning that he's heard of some rare rune spells to be found in Solstheim, which could possibly be a destination for a new adventure. Not to mention she hasn't even enchanted the Longhammer yet. They laugh and agree immediately. As they depart, Eric stops them with one more thing to confess. Did he mention that he's now a werewolf? Really?